Hi guys, I'm at our cake park. Just thought I'd record some stuff for you. ourselves are exempt from the rules. We worship order and rationality, but we also have a fondness for disorder and irrationality. I can imagine a mind-body experiment. An intelligent person is placed in a soundproof and sealed room with minimal sensory input from the external world and is asked a series of questions concerning emotional, aesthetic, and ethical issues. Difficult questions. Suppose that also the before entering the room our test subject's brain is completely examined so that the chemical and electrical state of each neuron is measured and recorded. Something in that principle could be done. Then the puzzle is, given a very large computer, the known laws of nature, can we predict the person's answer to each of the questions? Although I am a scientist myself, I would hope not. I cannot explain exactly why. I do believe that the physical universe is governed by completely rational laws, and I also do believe that the body and mind are purely physical. Furthermore, I do not believe in miracles or the supernatural, but like Dostoevsky's char character, I cannot bear the thought that I am simply a piano key, thinking and doing what I must when I am struck. I want some kind of unpredictability in my behavior. I want freedom. I want some kind of I-ness in my brain that is more than the sum of neurons and sodium gates. An acetylcholine, acetylcholine molecules. A captain who can make decisions on the spot. Good or bad decisions doesn't matter. Finally, 
I believe in the power of the mysterious. Einstein once wrote, the most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion which stands at the cradle of true art and true science. I believe that it is bracing and vital to live in a world in which we do not know all the answers. I believe that we are inspired and goaded on by what we don't understand, and I hope that there will always be an edge between the known and the unknown, beyond which lies straightness, unpredictability, and life. That was a passage from The Accidental Universe by Alan Lightman. Luminous stars, intrinsic, astronomers, galactic diameter, giant cosmic being, astronomers, distance of hundreds of millions of light years and further, physical universe unending in size, the messy nature of human affairs, dimly lit alleys of the mind, trajectories and flows, charted out and computed to mind-numbing accuracy, back to marks on the blackboard, masses and forces, action and reaction, physical phenomena, results of experiments with fundamental particles and forces to many decimal places, the energy-efficient compact fluorescent lamps and light-emitting diodes, oxygen, atmosphere, planet, Millions of years, carbon atoms are recycled through rocks, soil, and oceans. What about our sun and other stars? Dramatic developments in cosmological findings and thought have led some of the world's premier physicists to propose that our universe is only one of an enormous number of universes with wildly varying properties and that some of the most basic features of our particular universe are mere accidents, random throws of the cosmic dice. Infinite, philosopher, subatomic particles. We clutched our old photographs. Every couple of years, electrically unbalanced atoms rebuilt, replaced, to propose, home the inevitable. As one might imagine, the inner surface of the gut. Perhaps it would be better to just remain sitting and wait for the end. Youth and immortality we cling. Every civilization has sought the elixir of life, the magical potion that would grant youth and immortality. Lately, I've been having a lot of thoughts about what it means to be me. Turns out I'm very sensitive. I find things very moving and beautiful at times, but also heartbreaking and despairing. My goal is to find the beauty in both, and not just wallow in misery, but use it as a tool to find something true about myself. I've gone through these cycles of joy and despair over and over and something about it brings me back brings me back to a reality that I appreciate because I'm in control of my own emotions, my destiny, my life What is control, you say? It's all a mind game understanding that I am just a small insignificant young person with ideas and thoughts that have been thought before. But what I can do is try things because everything is new to me. I'm still learning everything. I'm still trying everything. As an assignment, I want everyone to find something that they're afraid of and go towards it. I'm not talking about a precipice, a cliff, or some kind of physical danger. I'm talking about the things that excite you, 
but scare you because you don't know what's on the other side. Things like love, curiosity, friendship, exploration of some kind. I know you can do it. And when you find yourself at that fork, where one road leads down a road you haven't been before, go. Go towards that. Find it. Find something real. And share it with yourself in the future. Write it down and tell yourself why you thought it was scary. More importantly, why you did it anyways. Alright, that's all for now. Goodbye.